Hey everyone, my name is Sister Today. I'm not going to be playing Jailbreak, but instead I'm going to show you a way that you can play Jailbreak, hopefully, without any lag. Now, computers, like everyone's PC, is different. There's different CPUs, different graphics cards and stuff, so the solution that I'm going to show you today may or may not work with your PC. Like, it may work really well, may not work at all, maybe even worse than it was before. So whatever I'm showing you, you should do this at your own risk. If you don't know what you're doing, I would not advise you to do this, or maybe have, like, your parents supervise you or something, but... As you can see right now, I'm in game, and I'm going to open up um, the performance stats by pressing Control shift f7 and the FPS monitor with Shift f 5 And as you can see right now, I'm like, my, my FPS is not the best. I'm going to show you something that, that will tell you whether or not this trick will work well or not. So I'm going to go ahead and just, like, go away from these people punching me so that we don't see, like, constant, like, red flashes, because that's just annoying. But as you can see right here, my FPS is, like, most around 59 to 60, and... You can see my GPU values are significantly lower than my CPU values. And if I do Shift F10 and lower the graphics all the way down, as you can see, my FPS is pretty much the same. I'm going to go ahead and uh, raise the graphics all the way to 10. And as you can see, my FPS is pretty much the same. And if the FPS stays pretty much the same, usually it indicates um, a CPU issue, like your CPU is limiting your frame rate and not your graphics card. If lowering the graphics increases your FPS, it's most likely that you are using Intel integrated graphics or some other form of integrated graphics or your discrete graphics card is not powerful enough and you will probably need to buy a new video card, which this solution will not really help fix that, but it might improve it a little bit at graphics 1 and like those lower settings where it's more CPU bound, but for now I'm going to be at graphics 10 let me just make sure i am so i am at graphics 10 now so now you can see like on my main my regular this is downloaded from the internet roblox is running like semi-decent but it does like some occasionally lag spike i'm recording on my video card because i know that it will not impact the cpu which i'm going to show you this will help fix cpu related problems i'm going to go ahead and fire up my alt and join a random game over here. I'm not sure if my computer's gonna crash or not. But you can see right here, this is my other Roblox window. And look at this lag. Just look at this. This is like, you don't even want to play like this type, type lag. As you can see, up here, the indication of red bars on the CPU. I'm gonna go ahead and just mute this Roblox as well, because we do not need any random, like, vault sounds. But as you can see right here, CPU is like ridiculously bottlenecked right here. Like, look at the values. Like, you don't even need to, like, know the values or what they mean to know that your CPU is seriously experiencing some slowdowns. If you have followed me on, like, Twitter or, like, some other areas, you might have noticed that I need two instances of Roblox to run MythBusting, and this solution, like, does help fix that as well. If you do not know already, I have, um, an AMD Threadripper 1950X 16-core CPU, and it's based off of AMD Ryzen architecture, so if you do not have an AMD Ryzen CPU, your results may vary from what I'm showing you right now. So as you can see right now, playing on Windows 10 Roblox is absolutely just... I don't even want to do it. Look at the FPS difference here. Like, the second I turn on Windows 10 Roblox, my regular Roblox dips to 20 FPS as well. So obviously, no one wants to play at 20 FPS, especially when you're spending, what, like $700 on your CPU. So this trick I'm going to show you will fix this. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this game because I do not want to deal with this lag. And I would highly recommend you just leave the game. And now that you're out of the game, I'm going to show you what to do. So first thing is you want to, um... Open up command prompt, which you do CMD, and you should get best match command prompt. You want to right click this, run as administrator, and click yes. This gives you access to, like, the elevated command prompt, which is the administrator one. You want to make sure it says administrator. If you do it on a regular one, it will not work, and you will need an administrator account for this. Now, what you want to do is disable this system clock called HPET, or High Precision Event Timer. And to do this, you want to type in bcd edit and then space slash delete value use platform clock which is something like that and you want to press enter and the operation completed successfully now this next step if you are on a desktop pc you should do this what you want to do is bcd edit and slash set disable dynamic tick and yes and you want to do that as well. Basically, if you're on a laptop, 
If you disable this, you're going to have um, less battery life because your, seat, your system's going to use more power. But if you're on a desktop, it doesn't matter. So I'm on a desktop. I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And now you want to reset and I'm going to continue once my computer is back started. Okay, now that I'm back from my computer restarting, I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do after. So now that your PC is started, you might have noticed like upon like signing in, it might feel a little, a lot more smoother or a little bit more smoother depending on what CPU you have. Because computers are different, this may or may not like give you the amount of performance boosts that I am getting from this trick. Some CPUs work better, some don't, if you understand. But anyway, let's go ahead and head back into game and I'll show you like some of the performance improvements that I'm getting right now. So with regular Roblox, you're going to see that like upon joining the game, like initializing Roblox, it's obviously going to have a red bar. But now I'm going to shift F5 and I'm pretty much at 60, like no matter where I am in jailbreak. Compared to last time when I was like dropping down to 50 and stuff and I'm using the exact same recording method. So this is like zero difference whatsoever and that those two steps that I've shown you right there are the only things I've did and like as you can see, Jailbreak is just super, super smooth, and I'm going to go ahead, head on to Windows 10 Roblox as well, because this is the one that's been having issues, and I'll show you what it does now. So as you can see, only like when it starts out, the mouse is laggy, and now you can like see it's perfectly smooth. You might think this is too good to be true, but trust me, the first thing, the first time that I did it, I'm like, I felt the same way, but then I'm like, it's actually like, this is reality. So, as you can see now... Jailbreak here, although it's not 60, it's still much more constant than dropping down to 25, and plus, because this is just my alt for myth busting, and I'm not really going to be using Windows 10 Roblox that much, besides doing myth busting, it's like, giving me key cards and stuff, I don't really need that much, but like, I just don't want it to be 20 to 30 FPS and causing lag on the other Roblox I have, so as you can see, I'm moving around here, and my other one is still at 60, compared to last time when it was dropping down to 30 or something. Now I've tested this thing as well on my other Intel based CPU like machine and that one got like a 10 to 15 FPS improvement whenever I use that trick as well so I believe all systems well most systems no I want to I don't want to say all because there's probably going to be that one guy's computer that like is going to do some really weird stuff that it's really like it won't really damage your computer unless you have like certain applications that must use that particular thing in that case you will see like flickering black and red and stuff and now usually i mean most applications now do not use the uh, HPET timer so that's why it is safe to um disable it and instead it will use like um basically it's just more efficient so now i forgot a step in um Whenever we were doing the command line thing, if it says like this error is cannot be found, like something different than what it told me, that means that I believe HTTPET has already been disabled on your PC and you are like this issue will most likely not help for you. Now I'm saying, I'm not saying that this will work for everyone. So yeah, proceed it, do this at your own risk, but I mean, I might make it seem a little bit too risky, but trust me, it's completely safe unless you have like some ridiculously unoptimized applications which are just a pain to work with and if you do not really need those applications, feel free to like uninstall them and then you'll see like a godly performance boost that you do not want to get rid of. So if you guys enjoyed this um, how to fix lag on Roblox guide, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.